Seven homers, fanning 61, walking only 12. Last time out, lost to Richmond on Monday, going five innings, giving up six hits and four runs. He fanned eight and walked two. He is 2-0 and oh against the fight and fills. Brian Pointer stands in, batting 251. Wind up first pitch, game 89. Is a breaking ball strike on the inside corner. We start tonight at 506, and we have 81 degrees in downtown Akron. Beautiful night again. Sunshine bathing Canal Park. All one little bit high. The pointer yesterday, one for five. He's four of his last 15. 251, nine homers, 23 driven in. The outfield step to left. 1-1, 1-1, ground ball right side on the grass, glove by rolling. He turns and spins and throws him out to start the ball game with a dandy of a play. Ranging to his left on the outfield grass. There's the first out of game number one. Kelly Dugan, the right fielder, batting 333, one for four, doubled in yesterday's game, also drew a base on balls. No homers and 10 driven in, left hand batter. He missed the first two months with that right foot stress fracture. Left hand batter swings and fouls that back to the left. Well, Merritt, six foot 170, 23 years old, a 16th round pick in 2011 from McLennan Community College in Texas. Fastball curve and change up. 0 1 to Dugan. Fouled back to our left again. Boy, he has pitched very well against these fills. 2 0 in 13 and two thirds innings. He has allowed 10 hits, has not allowed a run to Redding as of yet. Here's the nothing and two. Slow curve is high. One and two to Dugan. Cameron Perkins on deck. Just a perfect night again. Not much wind at all in the 80s to start game one. Here's the one, two. Swung on and missed. He got him on the off-speed breaking ball that went down and away. So Dugan is out on strikes. Here's Cameron Perkins, the designated hitter. Perkins an all-star. Got a couple of doubles yesterday, batting 262, nine home runs, 38 driven in, 20 doubles on the year. Five of his last 11. Big, tall, right-hand batter, 6'5", 205. And Merritt deals. Blowing inside for a ball. Well, you know when you have Ryan Merritt, you're going to have a guy who throws strikes and gets ahead of the hitters. Only 12 walks in over 100 innings. 1-0, a little bit low, 2-0. Redding coming in tonight, 46-41. and They're two back of Trenton, a game and a half up on Binghamton, two up on New Hampshire and New Britain. So, boy, tight race on both sides. 2-0 is a little bit low for ball three. The best of luck to Trey Haley going to Triple A in Columbus. Jordan Cooper to the DL. And Charles Brewer comes. He'll start game two tonight. 3-0 is a strike to the outside corner. 3-1 to Perkins. No superstars tonight. Fireworks after the game as well. 3-1. A little bit high. That is ball four. First base runner tonight. The two out base on balls. Here's first baseman Brock Stassi having quite a year. 311, seventh in the league. His 55 RBI to lead the Eastern League. He's an all star as well. One for three, drew a walk yesterday. Four for his last 12. 17 doubles, seven homers. Left hand batter. Perkins leads away. Merritt deals. Hit to left in the first pitch. Gallus Waits makes the catch inning done. No runs after a two-out base on balls. We played a half inning tonight. Ready nothing. Game to the Reds from the Reds in the Marlin Bird trade last December. A fourth round pick two years ago from Central Florida against Akron. Oh, and one with the no decision. The seventh ranked prospect for the fighting Phils. There is a strike in the outside corner to Hankins. Todd batting 264, six homers and 26 driven in, one for four yesterday. A one, swung on a foul tip, and it's nothing and two. And Lively won his last outing Monday when he beat Trenton going six, giving up five hits and four runs. 
Here's the 0-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on an inside fastball. Hank is down on strikes to start the bottom of one in this scoreless game. Here's Ryan Rollinger, the Akron shortstop, batting 207, a homer and two RBI. Three more walks in yesterday's game, going one for one in the game. Rolling her 11 walks in this just his 11th game, right hand batter. Looks at a fastball up and in for ball one. Ryan just two for his last 16. Outfield to right. 1 0. Strike called outside corner at the belt. One and one to Rollinger. Gandhi Diaz waits on deck. The 1-1 one, one is inside. Turns him back. 2-1 to the Akron shortstop. Two-one pitch. Line to center. Hyde goes back and makes the catch going to his right. And two men are out. Here's Johnny Diaz, the duck third baseman. Diaz betting 313, fifth right now in the league, nine of his last 22, couple of homers, 30 RBI. Big night yesterday, three for three, doubled his walk, broke the time, gave Akron the lead for good. Right hand batter having a great year, looks at a ball that missed inside. He's on base percentage, 415, tops right now in the EL, as are his 52 base on balls. 1 0. Missed away, 2-0 oh, now to Diaz. Anthony Gallus is on deck. Two outs and nobody on, no score. The 2-0 oh pitch is swung on and fouled back. Good cut by Diaz on the lively fastball. Lively, 23 years old, 6'4", 190. Born in Pensacola, Florida. 2-1. A little bit high. 3-1 to Diaz. Well, they sell out yesterday. Could very well have another one tonight. Here's the 3-1 line that is over the second base. He said the right field. That is a base hit. Up with it. Dugan gets it back in Diaz. Now, 4-4 four for four in this series. There's the first hit of the game tonight. Well, he is now 10 of his last 23. Here's Anthony Gallus, the left fielder. Gallus sold for four last night, batting 269, eight home runs. He's driven in 36, 22 doubles, which leads the ball club. Right hand batter Diaz leads away, kicking the pitch. Fouled back, good cut by Gallus. He went after a fastball. This right now, the only game underway in the Eastern League. 0-1. Caught the inside corner. Called strike two of the D's. <laughs> Nothing in two to Gallus. Carlos Moncrief is on deck. Two outs. Diaz at first. Lively checking. Here's the 0-2. In the dirt, good block by Garcia to his right. Made a bluff down at first base. And Diaz scrambling back. The ball and two strikes to the Akron left fielder. Lively checking again. Here's the one two. Fouled back, caught the screen, right home plate. The family fun day closes out the series in the official first half with the all star break coming after. At 2.05 tomorrow afternoon. Again, a short lead for Diaz. Look that way, throw that way, and Yandy back standing. And Akron off until they go to Erie next Thursday. And then back to Richmond. Lively set. 1-2, 1-2, slow curve, tap, first base side, pitcher off the mound, lively gloves and throws him out, and Akron is done. No runs, a hit, and they strand a runner. We have played one tonight, ready nothing, and the rubber ducks nothing. Five, right-hand batter, slightly open, wind up in merit fires. 
Line drive behind the bag at second. Gloved on the grass, and Hankins throws him out of fine play going to his right. Leadoff man retired 4-3 to start the top of number two. Here's Harold Martinez, the third baseman. Martinez on a seven-game hitting streak, batting 300. Two homers, 15 driven in. Had a double going one for four yesterday. Right-hand batter, 6-3, 2 from Cuba. Here's the pitch. Looks at a strike, knee high on the outside corner. Ryan Merritt does what he does, throws strikes. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and missed off. Speed pitch heading waving. He will throw you a couple of off-speed pitches. Back-to-back. Here's the 0-2. Just missed the outside corner with a fastball. One and two to Martinez. Wind up the pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop to his left. Rollinger gloves it and throws over two outs. Played that ball well. Flattened out a little bit on Ryan going to his left. Here's Brody Green, the second baseman. Green batting 269. No homers and 12 driven in. 1-4-3 and drew a walk yesterday. Right-hand batter. Merritt fires outside and high. Ball one. Remember, a seven-inning ball game. Both of them are that way tonight. A scheduled twin bill. Here's the 1-0. Swung on and missed. Off-speed breaking ball biting down and in to the right-handed hitting green. Count even at one and one. Wind up on the pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop again. Rollinger gloves the bouncing ball and throws him out. Three ground balls and the fight and fills go one, two, three. Moncrief, two for four yesterday, batting 300. No homers and four driven in. He's nine for 30 since coming from Columbus. Left hand batter stands in. Lively deals. Strike calls fastball inside corner. Here's the one-strike pitch. Missed inside that time. One and one to Carlos. Destin Hood on deck. One, one. Looper to left. Pointer comes on. He's there. He'll make the running catch and leadoff man retired. And Destin Hood stands in. Well, he got off the deal with that finger. Now the little turf toe right now bothering Hood. But he's back in there tonight. Hitting 278, three homers and 19 driven in. He's won for his last 15. Pitch. A little bit low for ball one to the right hand batter. One oh. Swung on, bounced, foul. Right beside the Akron dug out to the seats. One in, one, two, Hood. Jordan Smith on deck. One out and nobody out here in the bottom of two. Of a scoreless game. Here's the 1-1. One, one, inside and high. 2-1 and one now to Jordan. Wind up the pitch. Line to center. That is a base hit. One hop to... Hyde, so Hood lines a single up the middle. Ducks have their second hit of the ball game. Here's Jordan Smith. You know, Jordan won for four yesterday. The left-hand batter hitting 253, three homers, and 30 driven in. Nine for his last 25, swinging the bat well. Good, decent lead. Lively checking and comes home. Bunt pushed third base. Bunting for a hit, but he pushed it foul.
you know, Jordan's such good speed that he lays that down with Martinez back and off the bag. He surely beats it out, but pushed it foul. Check on Hood. Throw that way. Just got back. Again, if you missed it, Trey Haley on his way to the Clippers. Best of luck to the hard-throwing right-hander. Check in the pitch. Just missed the outside corner. Again, a two-man umpiring crew tonight for the the doubleheader. As Charlie Ramos took a foul ball right on the mast, knocked it off last night, had to leave the ball game. For caution, no, leave him out a while, make sure he's okay. 1-1, 1-1, slow curve of beauty called strike. 1-2 and two to Smith. Joe Sever is on deck. Hoods at first, one out, bottom of two, no score. Here's the 1-2, line to right but foul to the seats it goes. And back onto the playing field now as the fans couldn't handle it. This is a perfect night again for baseball in downtown Akron. As they'll fill the stands again tonight. Lively set. One, two. Hit to right. That ball's going to fall to no man's land for a base. And Hook's going to have to stop at second as Dugan comes on. So a Texas leaguer for Jordan Smith. Back-to-back hits with one out. Here's Joe Sever, the first baseman. Joe scuffling right now at 179. Three for his last 24. Was 0 for 4 yesterday. A home run, four driven in for the right-hand batter. Joe in 58 games at Lynchburg and A-ball, hitting 258. Six homers and 27 driven in. Right-hand batter, lively home, upstairs, ball one. Two on, one out. Ducks have three hits now. Right-hander home, ground ball to second. Green over to short for one. Back to first, and they turn the twin killing. Fine play by Lohman. Not a great flip, but he turns it 4-6-3, and the double play gets the fills out of the inning. No runs, a couple of hits, and Akron strands one. We have played two tonight in game one. Akron nothing, and Redding nothing. Okay, here is Drew Hyde to be followed by Lohman and Pointer here in the third. Hyde just signed in late June. Hitting 154, a left-hand batter. 13th game, takes the ball high. It was an Amarillo for coming here. 32 games, hitting 383 in the American Association. Oh, for his last 11. There's a high drive to right down the line. Sever and foul ground gives way. It's caught by Hankins. About five feet foul for the first out of the inning. And Myron may have... Put the old Jerry Lewis gear away, I would imagine. Here's Devin Loman, the shortstop. Loman did not play yesterday. It was at Clearwater, just coming back in 28 games there at 223. This is fourth game. Here's the pitch. Looks at a strike. No score in the game. We're in the top of the third. Game one of a doubleheader. Here's the 0-1 delivery. Swung on, tap, foul behind home plate. Wind up 0-2. Upstairs for a ball.
Here's a 1-2. Popped him up third base side. Drifting back Diaz on the skin. Makes the catch. Two men are gone. And six in a row set down. And back to the top of the order in Byron Brian Pointer. Bounced out to second base to start the ball game tonight. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball to beauty. Called strike. He dropped it on the inside corner. Wind up the 0-1. Breaking ball hit deep to right. That's going to get fouled on hook. And get out of here, foul, thank heavens. We got it all good wood on that ball. But he turned on it. Just missed one and two. Just missed the outside corner. Two and two to pointer. Two out to nobody on. Dugan on deck. Top of three, no score. Here's the two two pitch. Outside corner, call strike three, and Pointer knew it. Second strikeout, seven straight set down by Merritt. We have played two and a half in game one. No score from Canal Park. 17, right hand batter. Ground ball to short, to his right. Glove by Loman. Long throws in time. One pitch, one out. In the third, Todd Hankins. He struck out in the Akron first. Myron Noodleman. Well, the killer moth was attacking my partner. Here's a strike to Hankins. It was resting on your back for a moment, making resonance. Missing low and away, one and one to Hankins. Wind up, 1-1 one, one delivery, trying to bunt it, fouled it back, 20 and 2 now. You have found whereabouts of Myron? He's still performing. Here's the 1-2, swung on and missed, took a little off, and he got him. He chased a high pitch. Two men are gone. He spent the fourth. With the Schomburg Boomers in Hanover Park, Illinois. Was it Fort Wayne before that? Fargo making the rounds. Rollinger upstairs for a ball as he watches it go by. So he's, he's still in the game. He's in the game big time. Just not in the Eastern League. 1-0, turned him away. It's 2-0 now. I don't recall seeing him in any Eastern League park that I've been to the last four years. It has been years since he's been here, maybe 10 or more. Maybe longer than that. Here's the 2-0 pitch. A little bit high, 3-0 and to Rollinger. Two out to nobody on. Ryan lined to center back in the first. No score. Ducks have the game's only three hits. 3-0 pitch is high. That's ball four. First walk of the ball game issued by Lively. Akron base runners in every inning now. Here's Yandy Diaz, who singled the right back in the first. Diaz now batting 315 with that hit. Takes a breaking ball up a little bit. Ball one to Yandi. A 
look at first and the pitch. Missed inside. Well, Myron's still a big fan, has a lot of fans. Robert Brown says, hope you're coming to Williamsport soon. And Mackenzie Malesh, such a cool dude. 2-0. There's a strike. Breaking ball. He's definitely cool. There's no doubt about that. Look at first, 2-1 pitch. Missed the wave of the breaking ball, 3-1 to Diaz. Gallus is on deck, no score, runner on first, two outs. Bottom of three, game one of a doubleheader tonight. Here's the pitch. Strike called inside corner. Boy, a good pitch. Not much Yandy could have done with that. Now it's 3-2, so Rollinger can go with two outs. Runner goes. The payoff is hit to right. That is a base hit. Rollinger to third base. The throw will be cut off by the shortstop. Really knocked down by the shortstop. Loman bounced to green. So Diaz two for two. He's now five for five in this series. An 11 of his last 24. They're on the corners now with two outs for Anthony Gallas. Gallus bounced out to the mound, first at bat. Takes a strike for the breaking ball in the outside corner. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Short right field. Green is back. He will catch it. The inning done. No runs. A hit a walk at Akron Strands, too. They've left four tonight. <laughs> August 22nd, Erie is the uh, opponent. They're also giving away fanny packs that night. Here is uh, Kelly Dugan. Scoreless game. Strike call for Merritt. Here's a combination. You have Nerd Knight, Noodleman, and Taylor Swift fireworks. <laughs> Doesn't quite fit. Yeah. High fly ball to left. Gallus will drift back on it. And he makes the catch, routine fly ball. One down for Ryan Merritt, who has given up just one walk so far tonight. This guy has pitched some of his best baseball in doubleheader games. He had that game at Harrisburg on the 3rd of June. He retired the first 16 batters he faced. That was game one of a doubleheader. And then through that complete game effort against Redding on the 26th of June, Round ball toward third. It goes foul. Perkins at the plate now. He was the only base runner that the Fighting Phils have had so far tonight. He walked back in the first inning. Oh, and one. Here's the pitch. And that's outside for a ball. One and one. Well, I trust he'll do the dueling banjos routine. We're getting photos of us with Noodleman that night. One and one, the pitch. That's drilled foul on the ground over toward third base. One ball and two strikes. Of course, a lot of the younger generation today, they don't know who he is supposed to actually be dressed like and acting like. They don't know how funny Jerry Lewis was in his, in his heyday. He was the king. One, two pitch on the way. Popped up, back our way, but up onto the roof of Canal Park. Still one ball, two strikes to Cam Perkins. We have no score here in the fourth inning, game one of the doubleheader. Rubber Ducks have four hits, but they have not been able to score against Ben Lively tonight. The pitch lifted in the air down the first baseline. This ball still traveling out there. Sever slides with his back to the 
infield and makes the grab in right field. Great catch by Joe Sever tracking that ball down the line and grabbed it at the last second, went down to one knee. Boy, not an easy play. You had it correctly when you said tracking the ball, never losing sight. Had some nice plays defensively tonight. Ryan Rollinger, Jim, made a very similar play the other night going into left field and sliding down with his back to the plate. Here's the pitch. Ground ball sharply hit to the left, grabbed by Hankins. He spins and throws out Brock Stassi, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Ryan Merritt. Here's Boncrief now. He flied out to left field his first time up. The pitch on the way from Lively. It's taken inside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. The early start uh, today. Let off the Eastern League schedule. Here is the pitch. That one's a swing and a miss. And it's one ball, one strike. Binghamton and Portland will play tonight. Erie at Harrisburg. One ball, one strike. Both of those games getting ready to start. A little after six. This pitch outside for a ball. Two and one. Bowie and Altoona. They'll get started shortly. A little later, Richmond at Trenton. And New Hampshire at New Britain. Paul Lowe. And the count goes to three and one to Moncrief. The Rubber Ducks have had base runners in every inning so far. This is the bottom of the fourth. 3-1 to Moncrief is ball four. So he misses up high, and the Rubber Ducks again have someone on base here in the fourth inning. No score, and Destin Hood to the plate. He ripped an absolute rocket into center field for a base hit back in the second inning. Destin's first game back after missing eight games. Was never on the DL. Right-handed batter. And the pitch on the way. That's inside. It hits him in the left shoulder. So Hood hit in the shoulder, and well, he is hurting. Now he starts the jog down to first base. That'll bring Jordan Smith to the plate. The Rubber Ducks have the first two batters on here in the fourth. Smith singled back in the second inning. Jordan really starting to hit the ball well, starting with that Bowie series. Got a four-hit night. And Seems to really be coming on with the bat. And now stands in in an RBI situation. Moncrief at second. Hood at first base. Left-handed batter. Now the pitch popped up. A bunt and a diving attempt by the catcher, Garcia. He cannot get it. Bunted up the third baseline in the air. Garcia went going parallel to the ground as he went sprinting up the third base line to try to catch it, but it popped out of his mitt. Smith lucky to have another shot here after that failed bunt attempt. Von Kreef off second, Hood off first. Fourth inning, no score. Smith squares around. He gets the bunt down this time to third, but it goes foul. So two strikes on Smith now. David Wallace here in the fourth inning of a seven-inning ball game, really hoping to get these runners moved up. Sever on deck. A very warm and comfortable night here at Canal Park. Here is the pitch, and a shot to right, but foul. That takes one hop and hits the sidewall. So Smith really pulled it, but too far. He pulled it foul. Jordan last night had a hit. One for four, scored a run. Trying to get Moncrief in from second base right now. 
Ben Lively. A right-hander. He has seen the rubber ducks a number of times. 6'4", 190. The time is called down. The catcher, Garcia, is going to go out and talk with Ben Lively. So they could not get set on the signals. Today's game, a copyrighted broadcast presented by the Akron Rubber Ducks and the National Association of Pro Baseball Leagues Incorporated for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written consent of the National Association is prohibited. 0-2 on the way. That is low for a ball. Very close, but a little bit low. 1-2. From Ben Lively. Rubber Ducks had runners on the corners last inning. Could not get a run in. 1-2 is low. And it's two balls, two strikes. They had runners at first and second with one out in the second inning. But Sever grounded into a double play. So Lively has... Recorded some big outs already in the ballgame today. He's ready. 2-2 on the way to Jordan. That's a fly ball out towards center field. Hyde is coming over to his left. He makes the catch. Moncrief tags. He's going to try and move to third, and he will. So Moncrief moves up a base on the fly ball to center field. Smith out. He's one for two, and the batter is Joe Sever. Sever hit that aforementioned double play ball. So he's 0 for 1, trying to get a run in. Seven inning ball game here on uh, this Saturday night, both ends of the doubleheader. Put at first, Moncrief at third. Joe Sever taps the plate with his bat. Right handed batter. And here is the pitch. That one's right down the middle for a strike, and the count goes to 0 and 1. Ben Lively coming out of the Reds organization. O one one pitch. That's lined into center field, and that's going to drop for a base hit. Moncrief comes in. He scores to make it one to nothing. Akron. Joe Sever with his fifth RBI of the year. Solid single into center, and the Rubber Ducks are on the board first here in game one of the doubleheader. Sever drives in the first run of the game. It's brought to you by the Margaret Clark Morgan Foundation, supporting the nourishment of the human mind. Well, that's the first hit of the inning. A walk, a hit by pitch, and now a single. So the Rubber Ducks are leading it one to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Now five hits in the game for the Rubber Ducks off of Ben Lively. Here's Jeremy Lucas, one out, two on. Hood now at second, Sever over at first base. They play Lucas to pull. Here is the pitch, and that's lifted in the air. Shallow center field. Hyde comes on. He gets there. He makes the catch. He had to sprint in. So Lucas's bid for a bloop single is denied. Drew Hyde out of Yakima, Washington. Came in very nicely on that short fly ball by Lucas. Two out. And the batter is Todd Hankins, who has fanned twice tonight. But he has made some very nice defensive plays already in the game. The pitch to Hankins has taken a strike. No balls, one strike. Sever with an RBI single, plus a tremendous catch moving into shallow right on a pop-up last half inning. 0-1, fouled back. Two strikes on Todd Hankins. Ryan Rollinger on deck. No 
No balls, two strikes. Right-handed hitter, Todd Hankins at the plate. One to nothing. Akron leading it, bottom of the fourth. Lively is ready, and here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. He got him on a fastball low and away. Third time he has faced off against Ryan Merritt. Here is the first pitch. It's taken a strike, and the count goes to 0 and 1. We're in the top of the fifth inning, game one of the doubleheader. Merritt has thrown four hitless innings so far. The Rubber Ducks lead it 1 to nothing. This pitch is outside for a ball, and the count goes to 1 and 1. Next pitch on the way from Ryan. Hit hard down the third base line, but foul. Merritt against Harrisburg back on the 3rd of June retired the first 16 batters that he faced, which means he got into the sixth inning with a perfect game going. Merritt ended up going seven and two-thirds innings of that game, so he pitched into extra innings. Ground ball to shortstop, picked up by Ryan Rollinger. He throws out Garcia. One down. And the batter is Harold Martinez. Ryan Merritt working with the bases empty now. Martinez grounded out his first time up, and now the pitch. And that's taken a strike at the knees. The pitch. That's taking a ball. One ball, one strike. Next pitch on the way. That's hit hard on the ground. Backhanded stop by Rollinger. Throws across. One bouncer to sever. They got him. Ryan Rollinger. Maybe the defensive play of the year. From his knees at shortstop. Throws to first, and they just nip Martinez by a half step, maybe a quarter step at first base. What a play. Here's Brody Green, two out, and a grounder foul up the third base line. A star on the scorecard doesn't do that justice. Here's the next pitch, the 0-1. That's outside for a ball. It's one ball and one strike. Now the windup, the lefty's pitch. That's outside for a ball. Ryan Merritt has been so dominant with his control. It's really a breaking news story when... He walks a guy well over 100 innings now. Here is the 2-1 pitch on the way, and that's popped up. Should get him out of the inning. Merritt says he wants to catch it. He does. Lucas was still trying to catch it. They collided very slightly, but Merritt holds on to it, and it's a... Stop, 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 stop. I the pitch is in there for a strike. And it's 0-1. Bottom of five. Ducks leading it on the strength of a base hit by Joe Sever. <laughs> Rollinger takes a strike. It's 0 and 2. Rollinger with a tremendous defensive play in the top of the inning, robbing Harold Martinez of a base hit. He fouls that one away. It's down the first base line, well out onto Main Street. So Rollinger's tremendous defensive play keeps the potential no-hit bid intact for Ryan Merritt. Ball outside, it's now a one and two count. Rollinger Diaz Gallus do up for the Rubber Ducks here in the bottom of the fifth. There is a swing and a miss, strike three. 
A fastball at 90 miles per hour. Rollinger goes down on strikes. Four Ks for Ben Lively now. He gets the leadoff man. Now here is Diaz. He is two for two, and he takes a strike. Diaz now up to 318. Here is the next pitch. Spinning breaking ball is a little bit high. It's one and one. Now the pitch. And that one is taken inside for a ball. Two and one. Really was not all that long ago. Diaz had dipped down to 299. He had been slumping a little as far as going a couple of games without a hit. But boy, he has shot that average back up. Now at 318, the pitch is taken inside. There's ball four. So his league-leading 53rd walk of the season. And he will take his base. Gallus to the plate. Anthony 0 for 2. He is 0 for 4 in the series right now. One to nothing, Rubber Ducks. And here is the pause, and a throw goes to first. Diaz is back. One out, one on. Gallus batting. Moncrief on deck. Next pitch. That's it. High in the air. Out to left. Pointer is there. Plenty of room. Circles under it. Reaches up and makes the catch. That's the second out. And the batter is Moncrief. Moncrief today, a walk, a run scored. He's 0 for 1. Now the pitch from Lively. That is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Ryan Merritt has retired 13 in a row. He has faced just one over the minimum, walking one. One O pitch on the way. That's fouled back. Two out. One man on base. Rubber Ducks would love some insurance. This is just a seven-inning ball game. And so really now that you're in the bottom of the fifth, you're essentially in the late innings. Destin Hood on deck. Lively will again chase Diaz back. He has a very modest lead over there. Infield back, outfield straight away. Here's the pitch to Moncrief, and he pops it up foul. It's going to make the seats on the third base side. Creep last night had two hits, one of them a bunt hit. Lively again pauses and pitches. Rolled foul. That one gets into the White and Phil's dugout. Superstars are here tonight and visit Pittsburgh. Sponsored the youth jersey giveaway. Youngsters donning those jerseys and wearing them already. Here's the one-two pitch. Inside for a ball, two and two. To Carlos Moncrief. Diaz walked. Jerseys are sharp. I like them. They em. really look nice. Very similar to the ones the Rubber Ducks are wearing today. The blue tops. This pitch has taken a ball. They picked the right color for the kids. Like those light powder, not powder blue, but almost royal blue. Yep. They're sharp. Three balls, two strikes.
two men out, and the Rubber Ducks batting. They're going to play behind Diaz. He takes off, swing, and a foul straight back by Moncrief. Three and two. Fireworks coming up after the game tonight. So it's a big night here at Canal Park. A very enjoyable night. 82 degrees at game time. The wind is moving just a little bit in from left field. Nothing major. We've had some beautiful summer weather these last couple of days. Rubber Ducks trying to make it two in a row over the fighting fills. There goes Diaz. The pitch is lined to first and caught by Brock Stassi. And that retires the sack. Drew Hyde will lead things off. Hyde, Lohman, and Pointer are the scheduled hitters. Now the pitch. Bunt foul up the third base line. Well, you're only up one nothing, and so the idea of bunting your way on for a hit is certainly still on the table for the opposition. They are trying to get the tying run on base. Here is the windup and the pitch. It's on the way, and that's fouled back. And the count is 0 and 2. Merritt has only walked one batter and has been the only base runner. Here is the 0 2 to Drew Hyde outside on a breaking ball, and the count is 1 and 2. Merritt 2 and 0 against Redding. 1 and 2. Hyde asked for time and backs out. One ball, two strikes. Merritt into the windup. The left-hander lets it fly, and that's a swing and a hard ground ball. Knocked down by Diaz. He throws across. In time, they got Hyde. Diaz ended up going down to a knee as he lunged to get that ball to his left and came up and threw across to get Hyde another sensational defensive play by the Rubber Ducks. There have been three of them tonight. The catch by Sever in the fourth. The diving play by Rollinger last inning. And now Diaz. This one outside for a ball, 1-0. Next pitch. And that one is taken inside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Devin Lohman at the plate. Inside for a ball. 3-0. and oh. One to nothing Akron. Here is the pitch. Now it's down the middle for a strike. Three and one. One out, nobody on base. Right now, Merritt at 58 pitches. The next offering is a fly ball to right. Easy play out there for Moncrief. He is under it, and he has it. Two men are out. Top of six, Brian Pointer to the plate. He is 0 for 2. A ground out and a strikeout. Merritt has two Ks today. One against Pointer, the other against Kelly Dugan, the man on deck right now. First pitch fouled off. Came back and caught either Lucas or the umpire on the shin guard, I believe. Sounded like it. 0-1. Two-man umpiring crew today. Here is the pitch. That's taken just low for a ball, one and one. If Charlie Ramos is watching or listening, we certainly hope he's feeling better after taking that foul ball off the mask last night. Here is the one one. That's outside for a ball. And the count goes to two and one. 
left-handed batter, Brian Pointer. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the 2-1 pitch, a swing and a miss on the changeup, two and two. Two outs now. So Hyde grounded out on the great play by Diaz. Loman on the fly ball. Now the 2-2 pitch down the middle, taken strike three call. Attention now focused on Ryan Merritt, who has not given up a hit through six innings. Rubber Ducks leading it and batting for what they hope is the final time here in game number one. Destin Hood took a strike, now fouls one off. And it's 0-2, Hood, Smith, and Sever. And the Rubber Ducks desperately would love to tack on a run or two here. No balls, two strikes. And here is the pitch and a swing and a miss. He gets Hood on strikes. And so that's the first out of the inning. And here is Jordan Smith. Ryan Merritt has gotten to this point on 65 pitches tonight, 42 of them for strikes. He's three outs away. As much as he'd like a run, he'd also like to get back on the mound as quickly as possible, I would imagine. I would think so, too, and I was was thinking about that, Jim, as the ground ball goes deep in the hole at short. It's a base hit for Smith. On into left field. He's two for three, and the Rubber Ducks have a man on here in the sixth inning. And Joe Sever will step to the plate. I was thinking a very same thing. Boy, it'd be great to get a run, but probably need to do it quick. Long ball. Ramos in the pin. A right-hander for the fight and fills. Here's Sever. He is responsible for the only run of the ball game. An RBI single to center field back in the fourth inning. Field at double play depth. One out, one on. Sever awaits. And the throw goes over to first once again. Smith takes a good lead over there. And now the pitch. And that one is taken. Outside for a ball. Seven-inning ball game, and so this is essentially like the bottom of the eighth. Here is the 1-0. Smith goes, and Sever just slaps it foul. That's going to head over to the first base side. Rattle around over there for a while. One ball, one strike. Dugan, Perkins, and Stassi are the scheduled hitters for Redding in the top of the seventh inning. Rubber Ducks have six hits off of Ben Lively. This one taken outside for a ball, and the count goes to two balls, one strike. Lively has pitched a great game today. Two one, and they throw over to first. Jordan goes back standing up. Boy, three tremendous defensive plays for the Rubber Ducks already. Two and one, the pitch inside. Nope, it's on the corner. Well, I thought that was going to hit Joe. Broke right back over the corner. And a 2-2 count. And you can bet these Rubber Ducks defenders be willing to do whatever they have to do in the top of the seventh. There goes Smith. Another swing, another foul. Two balls, two strikes. Sever, Rollinger, Diaz have all turned in tremendous plays in the field. Sever trying to straighten one out here with Smith aboard at first base. One out. The pitch. Fouled back. Bounce off the top level and back down below.
Two balls, two strikes. Joe Sever batting. Jeremy Lucas on deck. Bottom of six here at Canal Park. And now the pitch. Ground ball toward the middle, and that one is going to sneak into center. That's a base hit for Sever. Joe Sever, two for three. A couple of base hits, two men on, and the batter is Jeremy Lucas. So Lucas 0 for 2. Time is going to be called. That may be it for Lively. Frank Cacciatore is coming out. He's the acting manager now. And so he's going to make it to the mound. Let's see if he takes the ball from Lively. No signal yet. Now he does take the ball. And they are going to bring on their first reliever of the day. 6106. Visit online at leaffilter.com. Here's Lucas. A couple of men on base. Pitch on the way. It's taken a strike, and the count is 0 and 1 from Ed Ramos. Here is the pitch, and that one is taken a strike. This is his first appearance with the Fighting Phils. Six feet tall, 160 pounds, out of Venezuela. The pitch is swung on and missed, and Lucas is out on strike. So three pitches out of the bullpen. Lucas is fanned, two outs, and that brings Todd Hankins to the plate. That strike was 97 on the old gun that time from Ramos. It was uh, considerably harder than Lively. I mean, if you leave me too, I can do whatever. He came from Clearwater just yesterday. High fly ball by Hankins on the first pitch. Park will hold it out in center field. Setting up under it is Hyde. He makes the catch, and that retires the side. No runs, two hits. No errors, two left. We go to the seventh. Can Ryan Merritt do it? It's Here's the windup and the first pitch in the top of seven. Swung on and missed. One strike to Dugan again, fans. Remember, this is a doubleheader. Only a seven-inning ball game. Just three outs to go for the Akron left-hander. Windup in the 0-1 delivery. Line foul. Third base side. It's nothing and two. Ryan Merritt. Looking to get his name in the record books. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on, fouled back, and it's still nothing in two. Only run. A single by Sever scored Moncrief in the Akron fourth. Wind up and the 0-2. Swung on, hit the left center. Gallus there, and he has it. Two to go here in the seventh inning. That's out number one. Here's Cameron Perkins, the only base runner today for Redding, the walk in the first inning. He hit the ball that Sever made the sliding play on one of three or four outstanding plays by the Ducks today. He's 0 for 1. Right hand batter, the outfield step to left, wind up in the pitch. Shows bunt and takes the ball a little bit low. The loss in this right now is the fact that it's still just a one nothing ball game. Wind up the 1 0 delivery. Popped him up on the right side of the infield. Sever is there. And he has it. Two outs in the seventh inning. One to go. Now the fans now beginning to realize. One out to go, maybe three pitches as the tension mounts as Brock Stassi stands in. The All-Star has flied to left and bounced out to second today. Lefty-lefty matchup, Merritt deals. Off-speed breaking ball, low and away for ball one. Two outs. Seventh inning. Merritt deals. Breaking ball inside. Two and nothing. 
Brian's retired 18 consecutive fighting fills. Wind up and the 2 0 pitch. Fouled back, good cut, 2 and 1 now, maybe just two pitches away. Game one of a doubleheader and a chance to get his name in the record books for Ryan Merritt. The Texan looks in the windup and the 2 1 pitch. Hit foul, left side of the play, 2 and 2, one strike away now for the Akron left hander. Those fans begin to make some noise. The outfield step to left. The infield shaded left on the left side. Wind up and the two. Two swung on. Fouled back. Stasi stays alive at two and two. A new set of baseballs for Jorge Turan, the home plate umpire. Stasi, an all star, batting 309, 17 doubles, seven home runs. Merritt again looks in. Into his windup. Here's the 2-2. Two, two. It is outside and low. Full count to Stasi. Ryan has pitched a beauty today. Only one base runner. The walk back in the first inning. Into his windup, two outs, the 3-2 pitch is swung on, fly to center. Smith is there, going back, and he has it. And Ryan Merritt has pitched a no-hitter. The first in rubber Ducks history. And the first for Akron since Giovanni Soto pitched one here on July 15th in 2012 when he downed out to the 2 one Ryan Merritt has pitched a no-hitter. He retires the last 19 consecutive hitters. Only one base runner today. The first inning walk to Cameron Perkins as he joins the Akron and Eastern League record books. The first rubber ducks no-hitter comes on July 11, 2015, tossed by left-hander Ryan Merritt. He gets a standing ovation from this big crowd at Canal Park. And when Dave gets down there, Dave will have him on the Suma Health System Star of the Game show.